All right, so this is going to be a Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well uh, Gemini Rising weekly, ge weekly general tarot reading, uh, May 25th to May 31st, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a, a private reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below um, of this video and there you're going to find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. So without further ado, let's move to the spread straight away. Now the first uh, card which represents uh, the very topic of your week that is going to be uh, the chariot card moving next we do have uh, the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic that will be the energy of the queen of swords <clears throat> then what we do have it is the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week that is going to be the page of cups followed by uh, the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week gemini that will be the hangman then what we do have it is the impression that you are leaving into the people around that is to be the magician and the last one for you it is the guidance that Taro is offering we do have the eight of uh, wands so quite over the all over the place it is uh, the reading itself um well the very least what we do have here uh, for the week uh, for you Gemini it is that you are really going to push something very very hard either in terms of career or either in terms of relationship which is not going to appear as a very pleasant drive of yours for a, a person that is around you which is kind of like emotionally connected to you so it's, it's pretty much where you know you you stray for a thing and that disrupts the emotional content of somebody that you both are having actually emotional connection into one another so um this is what we do have here for you as the starter of the week itself so um the queen of swords as the energy it points to the tenacity and the awareness that if you do draw from your past experience that may not mean much but say past poignant experience i will try to explain you what i mean it is that similar situations that you are standing against right now that you have failed back in the days and your experience tells you why you have failed and what you can do in order to change that therefore you are to appear those energies are going to make you quite emancipated and quite of a uh, subtle with sorting out uh, issues and with sorting out problems within your endeavors giving you the uh, not just only the opportunity but i would say as well the ability to push your things through career wise or relationship wise and under pushing your things through i mean your ways of how to do things push or enforcing your way into your relationship life and forcing your way into your career life as well and that itself um <clears throat> Is going to lead you uh, but before we go to the uh, to the to the situation I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit here uh, the Queen of Swords as energy wise a tarot is usually not meant to uh, predict health all right but uh, the Queen of Swords energy wise it kind of points to a health improvement so you may kind of have that opportunity throughout the week to improve your health in any way possible and from there from that particular standpoint which the, which the energy gives you of tenacity and determination to push your way and your things through uh, that force the situation itself which is marked by the chariot card so what happens here it is that the situation itself is going to be a triumphing situation where ultimately at the end you're going to have your wish fulfillment in a sense of the, the wish that how far you want to be for throughout the week. We're not talking about the ultimate wish because we don't have the world card here. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, those two cards are pointing to accomplishment of a significant, significant milestone in terms of career or in terms of relationship. And that milestone is to be achieved by you and you only so you don't have anybody to share the spoils of war with or the benefits that you are to extract or acquire uh, at the end of this uh, milestone. And, and even more, 
Um, uh, for one or another reason, your pride is going to be boosted in the sense of that you are to be pretty, pretty pleased and quite, um, I don't know if the word should be cocky here, you know, of how far you could reach uh, on your own. And um, at the end of the world, well, the, the, the bottom line here is, is that you are going to collect the, the luck of your, uh, of your hard work. And even though everybody doubted that you will be able to uh, accomplish success here throughout this week with your endeavors and with your stuff, you will. And that will amaze many around. So if you want to attack a, a high position into your career for a, um, for a promotion, for example, that's the week you do it. Um, or that's the week you prove more capable than your boss thought you were. However, your methods, these methods of, of tenacity, determination, ruthlessness, if you will, in some, increased ca in some extreme cases, are not going to be uh, kind of like, uh, how can I say, well, is, is somebody around you which uh, you have a, an emotional connection with, you know, it could be a brother or a, or a sister, it could be your partner into your relationship as well, somebody that you you love and they love you also uh, but are going to strongly disapprove your methods or in other words they're not going to be exactly exuberated by you know the things you are doing and the, the standpoints that you're taking so challenging wise here um, well it can go both ways one of the challenges and that depends really depends a lot of what kind of a situation you're going to be in but one of the challenges is for you to see that there is another way around it or to convince that person that there is no other way around it. So it does depend on the situation. Unfortunately, as a general reading, I can't determine, we, I can't determine which one is going to be. But looking at the next card, which is the gift and the blessing, it more, uh, how can I say, it leans more toward that there is another way around it, meaning that you can definitely approach the situation from a little bit of a different angle but are also a, a little bit more milder with your tenacity and with your aggression here and still achieve the uh, milestone that's uh, that you are so much striving toward the thing here is that the page will try to make a point that the details are less important than the overview and it's important for you to be able to see that point and understand it which will allow you to make some reassessment of your strategy it will allow you to make some as well uh, repositioning if you will that will help you to uh, pretty much consolidate or rather like um yeah, well, consolidate upon the goal that uh, that you are aiming for. Uh, moving next, we do have the uh, gifts and the blessings that uh, you are to enjoy. And that is the gift and the blessing of the hangman. So a couple of gifts are given to you, Gemini, throughout the week. Now, the first one, it is that um, whatever you are afraid of or kind of like whatever concerns you do have, those concerns are to prove futile, futile I'm sorry, and whatever obstacles you are facing, those obstacles are going to pretty much uh, stop existing on their own accord. So in other words, you don't have to do anything about it. Uh, and the other thing that uh, the hangman gifts you with, it is uh, the, um, the new perspective of things, which is exactly what the page is trying to make a point of. But it's entirely up to you. You're going to see it, okay? You're going to see where the page is coming from. You're going to see the reason behind it. The question here is going to be, can you accept it, okay? So it falls entirely on you here. Um, next one, it is uh, the impression that you're going to leave into the people around. And people are going to be amazed of how much progress you can make especially in terms of career how skilled you are with your negotiations with your um uh, you know with your speech as well it is like enthralling everybody around winning a lot a lot of followers and aside from that page from this person who sees behind the curtain who very well knows you for the rest you are gonna look like a, a miracle all right like somebody somebody who simply can make things happen somebody who does a, 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 a does a magic out of um, situations that 
pretty much everybody else doomed to fail. And uh, that being said, uh, people who are going to acknowledge your sovereignty in the sense of that they will give you the appropriate respect and uh, like said appropriate rewards so um that's why here with the magician um i said that if you are aiming for getting a, a good job or you know for uh, promotion yeah, there is no better week according to those cards to really make your point with the skills you can exert in there uh, so you can prove to your boss that they taught thought oh my god thought the lesser of you but nonetheless, with the magician, people will see the true power within you and they will recognize that you are really a force or a competition to be reckoned with. And the last one uh, here is going to be um, the Eight of Wands, which is the guidance that Taro is offering. And <laughs> it's, it's a pretty simple guidance, guys. It, it kind of points that whatever opportunity arises in front of you, you got to take it. No questions asked. Okay, it's just every single uh, opening that you can use into your advantage you just gotta take it nothing less nothing more and it doesn't look like that there is a much of a risk that you can take because the first couple of cards are shielding you the energies of the first couple of cards are shielding you from the risk here and the tendency of the card if you make a foolish moves to 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 lose everything you have or everything you have worked for because with the first couple of cards it doesn't look like that you will pretty much have as an option a foolish move foolish moves around so that being said gemini this was your weekly general tarot reading hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and once again if you are interested in a personal reading you can check out the description down below there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase such and uh we may see each other around until then bye